Greetings Perpetual Lights! Hello there! I'm Kayla Cardoza from VS Nursing 3A. Today, we're going to be discussing about an interesting condition in the blood. I hope your ears, eyes, and mind are ready. Let's go! Do you love to drink tons of coffee every single day? Do you always get enough sleep? If you answered neither yes or no, don't worry, you're still one of the people who might have this condition. What is hyperhomocysteinemia? Homocysteine is a naturally occurring amino acid found in blood plasma. High levels of homocysteine in the blood are believed to increase the chance of heart disease, stroke, Alzheimer's disease, and osteoporosis. Hyperhomocysteinemia is a sulfur-contaminating amino acid that occurs naturally in all humans. Our medical abbreviation, hyper means increase, homocysteine, and emia which means blood. Hyperhomocysteinemia itself usually does not cause any symptoms in adults, though it can in children. The three main signs and symptoms include vitamin B12 deficiency, folate deficiency anemia, and other vitamin deficiency that could overlap, causing additional symptoms. Risk factors include low thyroid hormone levels, psoriasis, kidney disease, and genetics. Causative factors are insufficient vitamin B6, B12, and B9, kidney problems, and genetics. Lifestyle factors include chronic alcohol consumption, chronic illicit substance use, excessive coffee consumption, which mentioned earlier, lack of exercise, and smoking. Mild elevation of homocysteine levels are common, about 5-12%, to and is seen in alcoholics and people with CKD. The severe genetic form homocysteinuria is rare, about 0.02%. Certain drugs are suspected of increasing the level of homocysteine in the blood. People using these drugs should discuss with their doctor the advisability of increasing their intake. These drugs include anticonvulsants, lipid-lowering drugs, cyclosporine, metformin, methotrexate, nitrous oxide or known as laughing gas, mild anesthetic, and many more. If you test positive for elevated homocysteine levels, you could be at an increased risk of developing a number of health issues such as osteoporosis, atherosclerosis, thrombosis, venous thrombosis, heart attack, coronary artery disease, stroke, dementia, and Alzheimer's disease. The American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology do not recommend routine screening of homocysteine levels. The level of homocysteine in the blood can be measured with a simple blood test that is often but not always done after fasting. This can also detect if you've developed a vitamin deficiency or identify the cause of unexplained blood clots. Homocysteine levels of 12 micromoles per liter are considered normal and levels below 10 micromoles per liter are considered desirable and results are usually within 24 hours. Once diagnosed, you may have to change your diet to lower your homocysteine levels. Good sources of folic acid, vitamin B6 and B12 include green leafy vegetables, fortified breakfast cereals, taking a daily multivitamin is also a way to increase the levels of these substances. However, one study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that women whose folic acid levels were in the lowest 25% were 69% more likely to die of coronary problems than women whose folic acid levels were in the top 25%. Certain drugs are suspected of decreasing the level of homocysteine in the blood. These drugs include D-penicillamine, folic acid, oral contraceptives, and tamoxifen. To 
sum it up, hyperhomocysteinemia appears to be an independent risk factor for the atherosclerotic process. However, its role in the pathogenesis of cardiovascular, cerebrovascular, and peripheral vascular disease remains unclear. Signs and symptoms are vitamin B12 deficiency, folate deficiency anemia, and other vitamin deficiency that could overlap causing additional symptoms. Lifestyle factors include chronic alcohol consumption, chronic illicit substance use, excessive coffee consumption, lack of exercise, and smoking. Mild elevation in homocysteine levels are common and is seen in about 5-12% to of the general population. Severe genetic form homocysteinuria is rare, about 0.02% and healthy levels of homocysteine in the blood is 5 to 15 micromoles per liter and the desirable is below 10 micromoles per liter and more than 15 micromoles per liter is abnormal. Blood test is the diagnostic procedure to check your homocysteine levels. We also learned that there are some drugs that may increase or decrease our homocysteine levels. For treatment, it is best to lower our homocysteine levels by increasing our intake of vitamin B6 and B12, folic acid, consuming green leafy vegetables and other vegetables, and intake of daily multivitamin also helps. So that's it for hyperhomocysteinemia. Bye! After discussing the hyperhomocysteinemia, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from our lesson today. This is Kayla Cardoza. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy, stay virus free from this pandemic. God bless us all. Bye! So, how was our discussion for today? Let me know in the comment section below.